What's going on guys? Chris here with 4K Motoring and today we have another motorcycle video. We're going to be doing a simple battery replacement in my 2015 Ducati Multistrada. This process is going to be relevant for pretty much all motorcycle battery changes so no matter what you have this should be a quick step-by-step -step process for you and hopefully you guys learn something along the way. Normally I like to use the Shorai lithium batteries for these motorcycles. That's been my go-to for a while and they've been very successful. There was none in stock today and I realized when mine didn't start today after having a couple issues with it in the past that this six-year-old battery is finally about done. I went ahead and picked up a factory replacement USA battery and for the Multistrada this is the YT12B BS. Now, when you pull this out of the box, this does not have electrolyte in it. It is not automatically ready to go. There's a couple steps that are required to get these AGM batteries prepared to go in this bike. Okay, so I went ahead and maybe skipped a little step showing you guys on video, so let me talk you through what I did. This is the battery, and this is the tube of electrolyte. They come as separate pieces in the box. The electrolyte has a little cap on it. You take the cap off first. Make sure you save that because you use it later. Each one of these tubes has an aluminum foil seal on it. So all you do is just take them, flip them upside down. The seals keep everything from leaking out. You go ahead and press this directly on top of the ports that are on top of this battery. You'll feel the ports are angled the way that they'll break that seal. And then you give it about 20 minutes for all this electrolyte to go into the battery. I've had it running for about 10 minutes already. Hopefully another 10 minutes or so It'll be done. The instruction manuals do recommend you give it about 20 minutes. So I went ahead and just set a timer when I turned it over to give it 20 minutes just to let it fully drain and seat. Once the battery has taken all the electrolyte from the containers, you can see the seals that were on there. Once that is empty, you've given it a good 20 minutes. You can go ahead and remove that container. And we're gonna go ahead and put our black cap securely on each one of those ports. And once we do that, we can go ahead and connect it to the charger. Okay guys, it's been a couple hours and our trickle charger here is now showing green. Saying our battery is at least up to enough voltage to be able to be put in the bike. So what I've done, I've taken the seat off the bike, which if you guys are not familiar with the Multistrada, the key, makes its way right under here near the where the passenger rear sets attach. From there, the rear seat pops off from the center and the front and slides forward. And then the rider seat literally just comes back off. So very easy process, not a whole lot involved to it. When we look inside our kind of battery compartment and general electronic space in the bike, we're gonna see there's a bracket that holds the battery in that goes across. It's gonna be a four millimeter hex key. So once we have that loose and can remove it, make sure we hang on to that. This bar, just gonna lift up and out. Okay, once that's out of the way, we have access to our battery that's just sitting in there. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can lift that out and then disconnect it. We might have to do that the other way around. So we were able to tilt the battery up enough to get those connections off pretty easily. This is what it looks like. Okay, here's the battery. We went ahead and disconnected the positive first. Just takes a Phillips head screwdriver. Now, be sure you don't ground out the positive on anything metal that's around there. There's not a lot to do it, just be careful. With the negative here, I'll just show you. Very easy. Go ahead and spin that off. And once it's loose, Come right out. There we go. And the battery is free. One tip, if you have a couple accessories hooked up or just the different fittings, leave the bolt in the terminals. That way it keeps all the terminals together. Well, we're getting this battery ready. We want to do two things to it. First, this rubber kind of backing plate that was on the old battery. We're just going to transfer that to the new one. It just peels off and goes on the new one. And second, we're going to go ahead and put these little terminal backs in the battery. As you can see, they fit right in here. 
They have little posts that kind of hold them together, but I like to put a piece of masking tape on them just to be sure that they don't fall out because that's super annoying. One other point I'll make in the bike, the battery comes with new hardware, new screws and those new backing plates. I would recommend using them. That way the oxidized metal doesn't do anything wonky with the electronics. Same thing with the terminals that are on your bike. Go ahead and clean them up a little bit. I went ahead and cleaned up kind of everything under the seat, but just make sure those are clean so when you attach the new battery, you have good voltage. Well, the install was pretty easy. The two Phillips screws were easy to put in with the battery sitting up. Just lay the battery down. Go ahead and put your support bar back in with our four millimeter hex key down there, and we're done. If you guys don't have one already, would highly recommend putting one of the SAE plugs for like a battery tender or something on the bike at this point. Very easy while you have this out and you're able to access it. And then we're able to keep the bike charged. In my experience, it doesn't really self-discharge very quickly. So as long as you ride it, you know, once a week or so, it's fine. But if you want to do that, now is certainly a really good time. With the bike all together, we're going to go ahead, before we put the seat back and all, we're going to go ahead and start it up and just make sure that it likes the new battery and then it runs. So it did pretty well there. It started right up. Definitely had a lot more power, more amps behind it than the old battery did. So this was much needed. Again, six years out of the old battery. I'm not upset about that at all. It really is that simple. That's all there is to it. I know I did this on my Multistrada, but just about every motorcycle is gonna be very similar. Some of the cruisers are gonna have the battery mounted a little bit lower in the frame, but otherwise the process is the same. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have found this useful. Again, you've been watching 4K Motoring. My name is Chris. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Definitely gonna be some motorcycle content coming this year for sure. The only thing that I had to reset was the clock on the bike. The mileage and all the other trip information was saved on memory, so the battery swap didn't even affect all those. Thanks for watching. Yeah.